Hey there, more um, toys and stuff as uh, terrain. And, and this is the Dirt Track Rally Set. Apparently with four different convertible layouts uh, by a company called Imaginate. Um, it's, so it's got all of this stuff in the box and you can see how it's how it's being done there a tunnel and the the, the um the jump ramp there and other accessories uh so essentially what we get when we get it out of the box and we've got the battery operated vehicles as well which um we'll get onto in a sec um but yeah for terrain you know i instantly look at this and just as each piece it's got the right sort of size that you could put a uh a model behind it and it kind of act like, a, you know, an embankment, a kind of uh, something that they can see over and give them cover to shoot from. So you could set any one of these pieces up. This is kind of a whole solid sort of piece, uh, but it's hollow in the middle. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, you know, it's not um, it's not flat all the way around. You can see it goes up and down. So you, you'd have a little bit of wobbly model syndrome, maybe, but... Um, the other thing to say about this is uh, all of this would be um, coated and treated, you know, sprayed with extra texture stuff and um, um, improved in some way, you know, just like this is the this is the, the basis. So all of this in theory shouldn't show. So I should be able to spray um, some texture stuff on and layer up textures and dirt and, and shading and just kinds of all, all sorts of things. So we've got all of. All of these pieces that make this, we've got this one as well, which is, I think, where the um, the bridge part fits over. It's meant to, but, um, sort of like that. Not that they necessarily want to be like, I mean, well, could have that. I suppose you'd have to really work on this. Uh, maybe get some of the other uh, greenery stuff um, and paint it around the outside. Some of the, um, you know, those... Uh, like the metal ones on sprues and that, that you're supposed to super glue or whatever. And then you could just paint the inside of this uh, metal and these parts metal to kind of uh, suggest, well, look, they're all based on this. Um, so I suppose you could then have like a, a section like that. But effectively, you could either build them in, in sections, so treat them kind of like uh, trench works and like have a have a piece of like a scatter terrain just have the one like that and another one sort of somewhere over there like that uh, of course you'd have to do something you know about these but unless you want to obviously connect them all together in that way but you don't necessarily need to do you to be honest um so maybe chop these off actually think, looking at it thinking about it um there's quite a lot of these so you could either build them like that or indeed you could lay them out exactly like that and the thinking behind that it would be actually pretty big um so it would allow, allow you to put a hell of a lot of buildings and models and set up like a defensive uh position with that thing going around the outside as like a either as like a earthworks or some yeah defensible section with buildings in the middle and then we've got these this bag of, of, of other bits and these are the fixtures the size of the bridges um, the bridge bit part this is the other part of the um the bridge obviously it's you know it's that straight up plastic but again you know it could be painted and um uh in such a way sprayed and painted to you know sell it as something more realistic looking this is all hollow plastic too um <clears throat> these are the barriers that go along along the raised bridge part and the raised bridge part you know that could act independently it doesn't have to be part of part of uh, this kit even it could you know bridge two other other things together um so these obviously would be painted i'd spray these silver i guess and then um corrode them in diff various different ways we have a bunch of stands here and the stands would be for the things like the um the flag and the little um what's that little uh looks like a um bag bin doesn't it a garden bin <laughs> and a little signpost there which is really cool so you've got this little bag here again you know forget the vehicles but um uh, even that flag you know that can be repurposed 
um, yeah, there's there's that and our little signpost, which is always handy. And you could you could take some of these elements, you know, something like that, and sort of just like glue the little flag into the top of something else instead, um, in the top of one of your buildings, and you know, separating these parts and using them differently. So there it is, uh, fifteen uh, British pounds uh, if you want to buy it new. Uh, this one from The Range, the UK store. Um, and uh, let's hope it actually works out. Because there's some significant scenery there if it does. See you at the next one.